Ever since they ended support for Doom Eternal, everyone has been asking the same thing. What's next for Doom? I mean, the previous two games were a massive success, so obviously we're going to make another one, right? It's definitely not an unreasonable conclusion to jump to. They were giving us small details on the gameplay and story of the next Doom during dev streams, and job listings provided additional information on settings and themes, so it only made sense that another Doom was right around the corner. But even after all of that, what if I told you that IT Software's next game wasn't Doom? What if I told you that those dev stream details were for a game we won't be getting for years, and all of those job listings had nothing to do with Doom? Well, today, that's exactly what I'm here to tell you, because the next Doom game doesn't exist. The slightly slower but infinitely more destructive sequel to Eternal is still a thing, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely not the project that we'll be seeing next. There's a lot of details that I, as well as other Doomtubers, have talked about regarding the next entry in the Doom franchise, but one of the details that often isn't talked about is the fact that they're ready to take a break from Doom. Like most of the things said during Death Streams, this is not set in stone and could change at any time, but considering how Tac 2 ended, I think it's safe to say that Doom is getting a well-deserved break. Now the real question is, if we're not getting a new Doom game anytime soon, what were all those job listings for? We were able to gather that IT Software's next game will have a lone hero with an incredible arsenal going up against hordes of creatures from various sci-fi and fantasy locations, so that does narrow it down a bit. The rights to Wolfenstein are still in the hands of Machine Games, Commander King doesn't really fit the description we have, and not too many people are begging for a third Rage game, it's definitely not any of those. I've seen a few people in the community suggest a possible Heretic or Hexen reboot, but IT Software only published those games. They were created by Raven Software, and I doubt that they would want to reach out and get the rights. So, aside from a new IP, what does that leave us with? You probably already guessed, but it's Quake. Both sci-fi and fantasy themes are big parts of the Quake franchise, and the series certainly has a few lone heroes with incredible arsenals to use against hordes of creatures. Not only does it fit the themes and details we have from job listings, but it's also been highly requested by the community in recent years, so if I had to guess, I'd say we're getting a new Quake game. Maybe we'll get a continuation of the Quake 1 universe, or maybe we'll get something related to the Strog. Anything is possible. I personally hope to see more of the Lovecraftian themes from the original Quake. While I don't dislike the Strog, I would rather have something more unique than space stations and soldiers again. I'm totally down for whatever, though, don't get me wrong. Regardless of what the game is, another big question that a lot of you have been asking is when is the next game getting announced, and honestly, there's no telling. The two most notable upcoming events are the Xbox and Bethesda Summer Showcase on June 11th and QuakeCon 2023 on August 10th, both of which could include a big reveal. There's currently no indication as to what we can expect from either event, so we'll just have to wait and see. If nothing else gets revealed beforehand, there's always the Game Awards in December, but we'll tackle that when we get there. Honestly, I'm curious to know what you think. Will we be getting a new entry in the Quake franchise, or something else entirely? Let me know down in the comments below. And hey, while you're down there, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more Doom content. You'll get free entertainment and I'll get your support, so it's pretty much a win-win for both of us. You can also find links to my merch store and Discord server down in the description. You should totally check them out if you have the chance. Anyways though, I think that's all I have for today's video, so thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Until next time.